Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of the Madden 08 PC Instructional Series. What we'll be looking at in this video is how to install and use CalHoop scripts with both TextMod and Madden 08 PC. It seems that from time to time there are users that have problems with this and if they saw it done would probably benefit them a great deal. So here goes guys. First of all there are a couple of programs that are must-haves when it comes to this operation and others as well. Since a lot of the files that you will encounter are saved in a compressed file like zip or rare I have found uh, that a program called 7-Zip is invaluable for this. Simply type in 7-Zip in your search engine. I happen to use Google, but others will accomplish the same thing. Most likely this 7-Zip website will come up and you can then download the version of the software that you'll need, either 32 or 64-bit, and install the program. The next program that you'll need to have is, of course, TextMod. Again, just type TextMod into your search engine, download the program, and install it. I downloaded mine from FilePlanet, but there are others as well. At this point, I might make a couple of suggestions. First, to keep things organized, you will need to create a good directory to hold this stuff in. I house all my football stuff in my downloads folder and make separate folders for my downloads and I find it easier that way and some may find a better way and I would love to hear your suggestions. The other is that I've found that once I install a program that is used with Madden 08 PC it's beneficial to go in and set the compatibility mode by right clicking on the source program and choosing properties down at the bottom then compatibility then choose to run this program as Windows XP Service Pack 3 and finally run as administrator click OK and then if it's a program that I use all the time like TextMod I right click the program again and choose to pin to taskbar. Now on to the installing and using of CalHoops scripts. First go to the footballidiot.com forum index page and uh, scroll down a bit then click on utilities. If I'm going a little fast for you I will put the the links down in the bottom in the description so uh, don't worry about that. But once you're in the utilities section, one of the top choices among the main topics should be CalHoops Madden scripts. Click on the first page of that topic and you'll see a list of the different versions of the mod. In this case, we'll be using the latest mod that is the 1.69 version. You'll see a link that will take you to a SendSpace page where you can download his 1.69 interface. After you get the zip file downloaded, simply right click the folder and choose Extract Here under the 7-zip options and all, all of this is going to be extracted for you into that folder that you downloaded the, the program, the interface, into. In order to use this program, you'll need to install the nocdmainapp.exe and the directions are included in the zip file download. I might add that CalHoop very graciously added a debugger log program to the file called OllieDBG. And if you install that as well, if you have any issues with the program, like it crashing or blowing up or whatever, a debug option will be made available on the screen when you have the option to close the program. That will be at the end uh, when, when your program is available to close. 
you may have to recreate the crash and choose windowed mode in the GUI to make full use of this feature, but if you're having problems with the scripts program, you'll be able to send CalHoop the debug log and he'll most likely be able to help you through it. Now after downloading and installing the 1.69 GUI, just double click the icon. In my case, I just click the icon in the taskbar since I put a shortcut there. When you open the GUI, everything should be disabled. And when you have all the scripts chosen and the GUI changed to how you want it for your gameplay, you can choose to save it at the bottom. Just click on the button. And you can save a copy to the root directory of your C drive and each time that you open it the GUI will be the same as when you closed it. Now depending on whether you wish to use text mod or not there will be a button at the bottom to click on. Click on the launch text mod button and you'll be asked to navigate to the existing file. Navigate to where you place the text mod file and click open and voila the program will open. The program will then ask for the target application and if you left click on that button you can then navigate to the main app.exe file and choose it as the target. Now you come to choosing the text mod or TPF files that you want to use through the text mod interface. If you've never had this open before, uh, you'll be asked to browse to where the TPF file is located and then you can choose it and it'll show up in the interface. If it is one of the latest TPF files that you used, it's going to remain in the drop down list and you can choose it from there. Other than that, you can always use the browse option. I've found that it really does matter what sequence you put the TPF files in as to whether they'll show up or not. If you look at my example, I have chosen a number of TPFs. Among them is sponsor wall banners. If I have to lower that in the order, say under the HD fix TPF for instance, um, the banners aren't going to show up in the game. You may need to experiment a little with the order in which you place your TPFs for them to work properly. I found that putting that particular one up near the top is the only way that it'll work. Now you can click on run. If you have chosen the script to use the full screen resolution at 1920 by 1080, then the game will open and after about 10 seconds or so, uh, between 5 and 10 seconds, the game will be hooked into the 1080p mode. You can make sure this is correct by going to menu at the bottom of the screen, then settings, go into the system settings and video resolution. There you will see the video resolution at the bottom and it should say provided you have at least a 1920 by 1080 by 32 screen that setting. CalHoop has made some outstanding fixes for this 1.69 version because I always had to come in here and make this to the change this to the correct resolution before and now I can just go into the game straight away. From here you can start an exhibition game or franchise and if you chose the options in the GUI before you started the game, the superstar mode. I've never used the superstar mode with the scripts yet so if anyone has any comments or issues on those by all means make them known and someone should be able to help you. If you want to just use the Madden 08 PC program with the scripts then when you open the 1.69 GUI, you can just click on the button at the bottom that says Launch Madden and you'll be taken into the game directly without the text mod option. 
Thanks for watching this instructional video and I hope that it has some information in it that you can make to use the game experience just a little bit better. I know that without Cal Hoops scripts, the game just wouldn't be the same. Probably would have graduated to the console version of the game already, but what fun would that be, right? Now, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and if you want to be notified when the next one will be out, why subscribe to my channel and you'll be notified. If you have any comments or feedback, leave them below in the comments section. And until the next video, so long for now, and have a good day, everyone.